We're about to share something really valuable with you. In fact, so valuable that for most of New Yorkers, it's like a religious ritual. And because you clicked on this video, you already know that we're gonna talk about coffee. The first coffee came to Manhattan by the Amsterdam ships in mid 1600s and it was only enjoyed by the privilege and it was a luxury. Since then, everything has changed. Now we have coffee shops almost on every corner of every neighborhood in New York City. Of course, like in any other industry, there is 80% of mediocre places, 15% of the distant ones, and 5% are the top-notch coffee shops with a lot of chemistry, philosophy, and history behind them. Today, we carefully selected four of our favorite ones in different parts of the city, and not just that, we'll tell you what to see around them so you have a great time drinking your coffee and enjoying the beautiful places of the best city in the world. Our first stop is Financial District in downtown Manhattan. A place serving the best coffee and delicious food there is called Hole in the Wall. It started as literal hole in the wall a while back. We tried their Australian-style cappuccino about three years ago when they just opened their Fida location. Then we tried their food and fell in love with this place. You can grab a cup to go and enjoy the walk along the East River, stopping in the piers and bridges, or you can walk towards the Wall Street and find some historical buildings and cool places there. Our favorite scenic spots are the Seaport, Stone Street, and the famous Delmonico's restaurant. Now let's go to Brooklyn. This is our home borough, and of course we know best coffee places there. However, there are only two that for us stand out among others. First one is called Café Alula, and they serve the best cappuccino in Greenpoint. Furthermore, their Lebanese food is so delicious and people working there are so hospitable, no need to explain why we have our breakfast there every week. Greenpoint, a quiet neighborhood where Café Alula is situated, is super nice for relaxed strolls. Highlight spots there are India Street Pier, Transmitten Park, and also newly opened Newton Bridge Park. All of them boast with fantastic views of Manhattan skyline. Our next coffee shop is located in the neighboring to Greenpoint, Williamsburg. This Turkish place is named Lion's Milk. It features a modern interior design, NFTs for sale on the screens inside the cafe. But most importantly, the tastiest coffee, delicious pistachio baklava, and outstanding hospitality. With your coffee, you can have a short walk to the East River with mind-blowing skyline views of Manhattan. Enjoy a walk in Domino Park that happens to have some artifacts from the old Domino Sugar factory. Pop in some vintage store or stretch on the grass in McCarran Park. For the next coffee shop, we're gonna have to go all the way to the most northern parts of Manhattan. There's an Ethiopian coffee shop, Buuni, hope I didn't butcher that, that serves coffee made of freshly roasted beans with a little French pastry called canale. And this one is to die for. We usually go there in fall because we found the most beautiful foliage in the park nearby. The park is called Fort Tryon and located at 190th Street A train stop. After the Central Park, this spot is our favorite place to enjoy the autumn foliage. I mean, look at that. Trust me, this one is so worth it during fall, and it feels like you are suddenly teleported to Scotland or France. Most beautiful sunsets in fall are also here. Now, here's a bonus for true coffee geeks. Coffee Shop Say in East Williamsburg was named the best in nation by food and wine. Cool interior, friendly staff, and most importantly outstanding coffee brings here hundreds of coffee lovers every day. That's it folks, I hope you'll visit all the coffee shops because they really are worth it. See you in the next video, cheers!